Let's explore the Snaps toolbar. These seven buttons from here to here are running snap types. You can toggle them on using the toolbar or you can right click on the snaps toggle and check them here. It doesn't matter. The modes are connected. Note that there are more modes available in the dialog box, however. It's just more convenient to use the toolbar. I'll clear all the modes and then close the dialog box to update the toolbar. So I could toggle on vertex mode and grid point mode and then move this box from its vertex to a grid point. Or I could turn off grid point mode and move this box on top of this one using 3D snap. This is a frozen object over here. If I try to snap to the frozen object, it won't work unless this button is on, Snap to Frozen Objects Toggle. Now I can do it. I can put the green box on top of the table using 3D Snap. This is another intriguing possibility. It's called Snaps Use Axis Constraints. I'll turn that on and then I'll also open the Axis Constraints toolbar. I'll constrain the motion to the Z axis and then I'll drag the green box from this corner and I'll snap it down here to match the height of that vertex to the top of the red box. We can see that better if I turn this mode off and move the box over without snap in the XY plane and you'll see that it rests directly on top of the red box. Let's do that again. I'll use 3D Snap, I'll use Axis Constraints, and I'll set up a particular axis constraint. This time I'll use X. And I'll move this box from this vertex, and it only lets me move it in the X direction. I'll connect it with this point on the frozen object and it will constrain the motion to the x-axis. So now the green box rests on the edge of the table. 